Behind me is our brand new studio LED wall. I'm pumped. Last week we set decked it with this awesome western fence. Today we are going to be lighting a scene for LED virtual production. The first thing you gotta do is establish what your angle is, where your camera's gonna sit, and what you're going for, really. But there's two steps on virtual, because you need to change the camera, but then you also need to change the virtual camera so the background matches up to what you wanna shoot. Let's move the camera first. The type of shot that I'm imagining, and I'll roll camera here so you guys can see kind of what I'm looking at, is something that shows off our fence. So, so a wider shot, taking up a whole lot more of the LED wall than like a tight shot. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna Start picking up this camera, be careful about all the cords because we got like 800 different things plugged in here. I'm on a 50, which I'm gonna keep it on a 50, move around the studio, pick out a shot that I like. And so let's just say, for sake of being super easy, let's do a straight on establishing shot that shows the entirety of the fence, that's good. Now, we're gonna change the virtual camera. So for this shot for the background, I want it more to be like a prairie plains type situation. So I'm gonna rotate our frustum. As you can see, it's rotating live on the wall as I'm moving it in engine. I have my monitor here and I'm gonna look to see what I'm seeing. That's okay. Actually, I do like the idea of having the trees on the right because then we'll have like motivation for a darker side to the face. The sun is gonna be on this side. So let's, I'm gonna tweak it a little tiny bit but then we'll go from there. All right, so I think position and kind of actor position has been set. It looks like this. Uh, we gotta light this thing. So one thing that I like about this scene is that we have some motivation on this side with darkness. On a virtual set, if it's not lit correctly, it looks like a virtual set. What we're gonna do first is simulate the sun because that's gonna be our primary source of light. And in this scene in particular, the sun is gonna be right kind of in this direction, direct light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this orbiter, I'm gonna eventually get a stand in, turn it on and kind of see where we land with it. Say our sun is kind of located, color temp a little bit brighter. It's out the soft box. I'm gonna do it. The fun thing about having a studio like this, there's no consequences. We can just come in here and we can play and we can try a bunch of stuff. Nobody's waiting on us. Nobody's like, hey, we need the shot in like, you know, five, 10 minutes. If you want more videos like this, subscribe and tell us below what kind of scenes you want us to simulate, shots in a movie that you want us to recreate, because that is kind of what this space is for. Uh, you can use any light you want. I, I understand that not everyone has immediate access to a sky panel and orbiter. I'm very lucky my boss is behind the camera, so. <laughs> Any light works. I just was mentioning that it was an orbiter because I am I like using it. Okay, anyway, we got some supplementary light here because the sun obviously isn't just like a source beam of light. It's like a huge wrap around situation. We're just trying stuff. This might not work. I might blind myself in the process here. Okay. Again, we're just building off of stuff. Slowly, slowly, we're building off of stuff. Using the bounce of the ceiling. The ceiling's white. It's amazing. Um, now I'm getting a little bit of early morning light. It'd be interesting, we could go for that. But this is what you do. You go back and forth, you balance it out. This is the process. We're just taking a little bit more time because we've got the time. That, again, is what this is for. Oh, he's a standing and a cameraman. Look at that. Wow, double duty over there. This is like our first setup on this on this wall since we set up this studio wall. One thing I think we need to do moving forward is kind of bring our sets a little bit closer off the wall so that we're not getting that pixelation that I'm getting in this camera. Which I'm not getting on the display monitor, which is interesting. Okay, so let's do something crazy. Pretty warm color temperature out of this light an early morning vibe like I was saying before. So 5,000 Kelvin for everyone at home. Um, we've got middle of the day. Now I'm gonna drop this baby down to 3,200. Early morning. That's cool, huh? All right, let's go early morning. Okay. Like, I wonder if we go super blue light on this side. That could be pretty interesting. A little full saturation on this little baby. This is kind of fun. It's like moonlight almost. It'd be a little bit extreme. <laughs> We've been lighting for about, 
10 minutes, I'd say. And what we've landed on so far is like, we're gonna do an early morning scene. Already looking at this, I'm gonna turn this intensity down. Yeah, I like that a lot. And now what we're gonna have to do is go back in engine and we're gonna change kind of the brightness and the time of day. Blue moonlight is, is fading, but the background right now is telling me it's high noon. So, we're gonna figure that out. Can we make the sky darker? Is that possible? And one of the push-pulls of this setup is as I get dialed in on this side with how much intensity I want, I need to dial back my intensity on the blue side, finding the balance that we want pretty close for initial key lights at least. Seeking out my cattle for the morning. And I do like how dark my face is on this side. All right, well, as the Unreal Masters over there sort out the sky, cause I, I kind of want it to be a little bit deeper, early morning blue light. One thing that I think this shot is missing is like more of like a, a wrapping light just on the sun side. Got a little tube light, Cardellini clamp. I'm gonna kind of fine tune this to this sun side. That's actually, I kind of like where that's at. Yeah, let's go up just a little bit. Now, if we slide this guy over. I'd say get behind the thing. Sarsaparilla. One thing that I want is a little bit more foreground, but we're on a virtual set, so we can literally do anything. And I can actually just pick this stuff up and manipulate that foreground. I actually like that quite a bit. So I think we're here. We basically landed on a morning scene with the farmer looking out on his field. Sun's still coming up. It's low in the sky, so we've still got some moonlight. And let's uh, see how well Serhi can act. So as you can tell, lighting for virtual on an LED wall is difficult because you have so many different factors. How bright is your screen going to be? What are your settings in the engine? And of course, how do you use your set lights? And every case is different. Thank you for joining us for this short tutorial. We're going to be making a whole lot more on this LED wall. So stay tuned, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.